Ladies and gentlemen, Madam First Lady, Ministers of Government, Chief Minister, Minister of uh, Foreign Affairs, my dear brother, Dr. Yon Keller, Chairman of the Presidential Initiative. He is coming from the college, a college that is less than a school. <laughs> We will try to upgrade it anyway. So, um, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. I'm very excited to be here. This occasion has been in the plan for the past six years. Uh, OBA, North America, has been trying to uh, uh, bring me to, to Washington, D.C. area so that I can honor this occasion. Finally, I accepted last year, and today we are here. <laughs> to all of you who have come, I say thank you. You've come to support a great school, a school that has produced people in all walks of life. Um, we were not able to produce national leaders at the, at the helm, but we have done so in the past 120 years uh, we've had uh, vice presidents, ministers, you name it. But I was able to break the ceiling once and for all. <laughs> I do so in honor of all my colleagues. In both schools, we are trained to be leaders. But we, we are leading at a certain level. Now we are leading at the highest, at the end. And that is why you can see the difference. Because we are trying to lead, when we lead, there is a difference. Um, to um, the, the, the junior boys here, those two boys, uh, some of whom are hiding their faces. <laughs> we are not going to drill anyone here. You know, I. I, I have uh, my boot school hat. I decided not to use it because uh, Amaraswa gave it to me. <laughs> and you know the size of Amara's head. <laughs> <laughs> the cap will wear me instead of me wearing the cap. <laughs> so it's place on the table there. I don't need any regalia to, to, to be attached to the boot school from the blood. That's the only secondary school I know, and it's prepared us all to be where we are today. I'm grateful uh, that you've been able to bring this occasion together so that we can share. Now, the, the thing about both school is that where we are, wherever we are, we have more women. This <laughs> is a hundred percent uh, boys' school. But we attract more women. If you if you just do um, if you just look in this crowd, there are so many women than men because we are very noisy and rightly so. If we involve, we threaten the uh, UCC. Uh, <laughs> not to mention uh, Amadia. And of course, uh, CKC, we confine them to DRS. So, oh, um, I think it's a long way, but we do break bands together. <laughs> Especially for sports. DRS, um, the currency is their domain. And so, sometimes we, 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 we do intervene there, but we do so with a lot of caution. So the community, and this is what happens at Oba every year, it's a bow city community, it's a bow city affair. Yes, anytime we go for Oba, you see more people, the whole community come around. And this is what we really want, we want to um, um, encourage, because we support other schools. And talking about education, we all know the value of education. I don't need to reinforce that here. And for me, it lays a solid foundation for personal and uh, national development. It gives us the universal key 
and it opens doors everywhere around the world. And that is why we are struggling to make sure that we get our education back to where it was. Not only to where it was, but, but to make sure it is fit for purpose. Our children are going to be in an IA world. Amen. Uh, not like us, you know, some of us are still in the dark. Uh, um, 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 we're digital, but also um, we are stuck in the past. And for them, they are native technologists. They are growing with it, and they have to be not just end users, but I want us to encourage our community to be at the forefront of uh, artificial intelligence. Don't let them do... The world is changing rapidly. The world is changing rapidly. And so we encourage our kids to also pre-position themselves before we get there, so that they will not be at the receiving end of the fourth industrial revolution. I was in New York a few days ago, and I spoke to the, um, the mission there. I was proud because everywhere I went, and for even the United States uh, permanent rep, they said, you have a very young team here, but you should be proud of them. <laughs> and yesterday we celebrated or signed the MCC Compact. That was again another effort of Syrian Indians coming together. We are great people, smart people, only that we don't work together. And that is what I want to inspire. Be you from the north, south, east, or west, whatever your color is, our strength and greatness will never come out if we do not work together. Synergy. Synergy. A group of young people, all of these uh, compacts have been worked, you know, I did put the vice president in charge to look at the indicators, but it is a team of three Indians that worked on it. And we were one of the fastest since the MCC started. So I believe in three Indians. And I want us to believe in ourselves. And to work hard. Today, I say three years ago, we were a subject at the Security Council. Last month, we were presiding over the Security Council. Right. And guess what? We did not just preside over the Security Council. What has been a taboo subject, which is reform of the Security Council itself, after nearly eight years of the, of, of, uh, the creation of the United Nations, nobody dared to take it to the Security Council. Because the family file will not even allow you to lay it there. We had the audacity to do it and we succeeded. Amen. I was asking for representation of Africa in the Security Council. And I guess you must have heard from the United States a policy statement that they, they, for them, they have accepted that Africa should have two members in the permanent category of the Security Council. So from obscurity, we have come up. I want to encourage, all I want to do is inspire as many Syrians, especially the young who are still malleable, to work hard and to work together. When I spoke to our team in uh, New York and I came yesterday and we, we signed, I told them it's all as a result of teamwork. Well, again, many accuse me of um, working too much with the young people. Ladies and gentlemen, our population is over 60% young people. They are restless. Most of them are educated. We have educated them, but we don't have the, 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 the means to employ them. That is the problem. Why do we get up to this uh, particular demographic? Because they have the energy. They are most. Uh, I bring them along because they are responsible, and they are interspersed by very seasoned 
Suedinians, who we help them because there is experience and there is that youthful exuberance which the youth we, uh, we always do. But that mixture is what we need. We should not leave the young people behind. Talking about the women, women in here. In the world today, if you talk about women empowerment and gender equality, the first country that will come up is Sierra Leone. Because of the lack of changes, you know, we, we have made to the, um, to the laws and the efforts we are making to make sure that our women can be on our side as we try to develop. So, in that particular area, the First Lady has complimented our efforts as a government. <laughs> the hands of our guests. Now, as I know, we don't go touch gap if you so. And I will be no more long. We are protecting our God children. The God child must be protected. They must be nurtured. And so because of the many activities in that area, you know, um, before today, a lot of people we refrain from talking about menstruation. Today, We've made it a mainstream topic because it is there. It is biological. So we should help our kids to understand what happens to them at puberty and to support them instead of leave them to wonder. So, man, they know what to do there. No men, they will know what to do After everything, they can go back there, but they know what to do there. So, um, these are things that affect our children. Some of the children, I mean, they take it for granted here, and um, um, just the free access to education for primary, pre-primary, and also uh, secondary school. Over one million people here enrolled, additional. Amen. For the first time in the history of this country, because of our STEM, uh, 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 program where we will support them here you know, where they do uh, science, technology, and mathematics uh, subjects. There, Fulbright College had more women that applied for engineering than at any other time in the nearly 200 years of the Fulbright College. Because I believe that Syria is my home. Sierra Leone has been lagging behind, and there's so much we can do. But I also know that we are very brainy people. We are good people. We don't just work together for the most part. You can even out here, you cannot succeed in silence. You see huge uh, businesses coming together. There's strength in unity. Your programs in the past, that is really because of the hectic nature of um, uh, Onga, and of course, I come to Washington mostly once a year, so there are many commitments. But this is fantastic. I can see a whole full of Syrian unions. You have done an exceptional job. You have always contributed to different projects that I know. And that is why I said I will come to support you. I thank you all. All the other one day, when I go to my association. Yeah. Yeah. Associate members. Yeah. Uh, we are an open school, so we accept everybody, especially the women. Yeah. And they can make the, we, we over the fine. So, thank you for coming. Uh, this is a sign of um, 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 harmony and cohesiveness. 
out here we should work together. A lot of things are happening. The world is tough, as you know, even out here. But we have to work. We should continue to work at it. And we, I want to assure you that we have started, we have started uh, progressing. Albeit slow, but if we put our heads together, we will succeed. I'm very happy to be amongst you tonight, and thank you for coming.